In this lesson, we're going to finish the touch-ups on the model. Okay, so now that we have our model, or the cap set to be symmetry, we're just going to go ahead and just make sure that there's no faces on the outside, so that all these edges will merge properly with the other. Okay, it looks like we're good. I'm also going to just select all the edges on the flush side, and just make sure that they're perfectly flat. This way the symmetry will take on, like I have to merge them later on. Okay, so we are ready. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete our mesh smooth and th throw on our symmetry. The reason why I remove this mesh smooth is because I'm actually going to collapse the stack after all the symmetry is done. Alright, so I'm going to find symmetry here in the modifier list. I'm going to turn off slice along mirror. And I'm just going to make sure that our mirror is dead on here. Alright, that looks good. I will collapse this. And I'm also going to remove these edges here. We don't need these no more. They were there just so we could slice it in half again. And we'll also run another symmetry modifier here. And this time we're going to flip it over in the y-axis. And we'll check from the top view. Make sure that that's good. Solid. We'll collapse that stack. I'm going to bring this edge out here so that it's more evenly distributed. Like so. And I can tell from the top view that our cap is a little bit too rounded up top. Let's bring this down a little bit. Okay, great. Now I, we can set this up on top of the beer bottle. I'll just align this using Alt-A. I'm going to align all of our pivots to the beer bottle. That way I know it's dead center. And then I'll move it up to sit right on top of the beer bottle. We can scale this down now. You may have to adjust the scaling on it just a tad there, so it fits good. Okay, so we're just going to bring up our image here and just take a look at how far down the teeth go. You see it goes almost right to at the end of the groove there, so we'll just make sure ours is lined up there, and it seems like we're pretty close. Okay, at this point we're going to go ahead and add a shell modifier on top of this. Actually, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and reset its X form. Okay, this one seemed to work just fine. We'll hit OK. We're going to add a shell modifier to this. All right. And we're just going to add, I'm going to right click on this spinner. I'm just going to bring that in just a tiny bit. Not a lot, just enough so that it has some thickness to it. That way we can add a different material underneath because uh, in the caps underneath is a, a lighter reflective color and the outside is a, more of a peachish brownish color. All right, so with that done, we can go ahead and collapse our stack. We can put or convert this to editable poly. We'll go ahead and put a mesh smooth on this and keep our iteration to one. And if you like, you can go ahead from this view here and just up the length of the teeth. I think I have mine a little bit too short. In fact, I might even just remove that edge there and see what happens. It's not a good idea. I think I'll just grab that edge and just bring it up a little bit. Okay, so there's the cap. I'm going to open up our material editor again and I will just throw this material on that model. Just keep things consistent now before we go ahead and texture. Change that to black. Alright, I'm going to name these objects now. This is our model cap. This is our beer bottle. Okay, and at this point you're probably wondering when we're going to add the liquid in, and that's actually going to come after we finish texturing the model because we're going to want to get the material working first and then we'll put the liquid in. And uh, just to final correction on this model, is I still want this a bit fatter. It's not quite where I'm looking for. It's this axis here. see bit much so I'm just fine tuning this Let me scale that back up okay I'm not happy with where that one is maybe just just a bit more okay 
I will leave that alone now. Right. Okay, I'm just going to position this stuff up around a little bit. Make sure I get this more accurate. All right. Seems to fit in all the views now. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so I just kind of adjusted the proportions there a little bit. Just get, made it a little bit fatter, put the cap on there. Everything is now named. And in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and we'll start talking about the material setup.